this guy Joe Rogan who believes in dragons. He, I checked it. He, he believes, believes in dragons. He believes in dragons. Did you triple force and, that? Yes, I did. There's a there's a group of people that say that dragons were real. Dragons? He believes in dragons. Did you triple force and, that? Yes, I did. So it's like the science is saying that. If there were lizards big enough to fly around and eat people, they it, didn't have bones that could fossilize. So it'd be like an eagle. Right. And he also thinks that they, dragons, like I guess like dinosaur type type of animals, yeah. roamed the earth when people did. Now, are there any stories of dragons like written, like in the times of people that they actually had the written word, or is it just depictions? I don't know. Not my feel. Yes, Joe Rogan has changed his bow on eggs to dragon believer after the view Joy Beha insulted him on the air. I don't know if you've seen this extremely concerning. Sometimes I look at these people. I didn't believe that Joe Rogan would reply them. I'm going to show you all the videos. According to this tweet, the view Joy Beha says people like their shows because they tell the truth. Unlike dragon believer Joe Rogan. Do you believe that people trust them? People want us divided, and they aren't just here in this country. They're foreign, foreign adversaries who are infiltrating our social media because it is prudent for us to stay that way. But so I when think, you see something that really pisses you off, you should triple check that one. Yes. But I think that that's why people like our show, because they know that we are checked by ABC News. But we're if, checked by everybody. Yeah, I mean, if, if we're wrong, we have, you know, the legal note here. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the human legal but note. But in my, we went from Walter Cronkite, mm -hmm. basically, to this guy, Joe Rogan, who believes in dragons. He, I checked it. He, he believes, believes in dragons? He believes in dragons. Did you triple force and, that? Yes, I did. And he also thinks that they, dragons, like I guess like dinosaur type type of animals, yeah. roamed the earth when people did. So this is the type of really, really bad information that's going out well, there. Well, in defense, there are some really but good news. it's possible news. that Donald Trump did roam the earth when dinosaurs <laughs> were here. There are some really good news uh, kind of influencer types, and I think it's great that they're getting information about yeah. global and current events in front of younger people who may we don't tune into traditional media but to sarah's point there has to be some fact checking and actually verification of the things that are shared because i spend a lot of time on instagram reels and i'm served up things that i get outraged about mm -hmm. and then i realize oh that's not even true but i have the sense to go and look it up but what i do worry about with this like the blue sky versus x because a lot of people i follow on x twitter have now left to go to blue sky i worry we're all going into our own echo chamber so we had this you know this election that was tense donald trump won and the right is going to stay on x and then the left is all going to be on blue sky how do we try to talk to well, each other the, well uh, the, uh, unfortunately i i will have to say how? the other side i think has driven people away because you it's you know it's not just discourse mm -hmm. it's nasty name calling yeah, and totally. coming after your family yeah. and i'm going to do this to you and i don't think anyone should have to take that That's from anybody if they don't have to yeah. well, so i and i'm not yeah. and i think a lot of republicans who also are getting that because they have opinions that may differ from yeah. what is being said they're moving as well because you know and i know why also because you know as i believe Elon Musk is the actual vice president. Yes, I'm going to play the video so you can see at the end that Joe Rogan is not a dragon believer. The way they made it the, on this show struggling to pull this out, like people trust them. They are fast and reliable people. Reason they read legal notes on uh, they read legal notes simply because. They want to cover themselves. They make a lot of mistakes. And to avoid lawsuit, that is the only thing they can do. Let's forget about what these people do here daily. Joe Rogan on that segment is not a dragon believer. I don't know if she just read something without actually watching that video. Joe Rogan had to even share the link on X for people to understand exactly what they were discussing. In, you know, China, South America, Africa, all these different, Rome, all these places, images depicted people fighting dragons, right? And every, every dragon was slightly different, but it was all a giant scaly animal that could fly. So when you, when you break that down, you think about the fact that large birds had a hard time being fossilized because their bones are so porous, right? So because bones, they have like hollowish bones, they break down very easily and they don't fossilize. 
So the 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 group that says this, basically they're they're saying the evidence is the reason there's no fossils of dragons is because they had bird bones and they were actually very delicate animals. But a handful of these small small a small population of these giant li- flying lizards existed and basically encompassed all these different countries where they all depicted fighting dragons in their own way and they were all killed off by, you know, knights or whatever it is and then didn't fossilize. What? So it's like the science is saying that if there were lizards big enough to fly around and eat people, they it, didn't have bones that could fossilize. So it'd be like an eagle. Right. And so and that's why, you know, that's why all these human populations around the world have depictions of them because they did actually exist. Now, are there any stories of dragons, like written, like in the times of people that they actually had the written word, or is it just depictions? I don't know. Not my field. That would be interesting because, like, are these depictions, like, ancient accounts told by generation after generation, like, passed down? I think so. I think, I I don't know. I don't know anything about dragons or whether it's real, but I think it's interesting to think, oh, well, the science supports that if there were flying lizards, their bones wouldn't have fossilized, and... These have been passed down, stories that have been exaggerated and passed down from generation to generation. And some of them breathe fire, but some of them don't, depending yeah. upon... Which culture it was yeah. significant to. I wonder if what the fire what the fire is supposed to represent, or they're just people are full of shit. Probably that one. Yeah, it's probably made it sound even cooler. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? Not only did I kill him, he was trying to burn me. <laughs> At the end of the day, you will realize that Joe Rogan don't believe in Dan. I don't know how this lady watched this video. Or is it that uh, she's having a problem to just comprehend simple clips like this? They went further to discuss theories why people used to do this with these depictions of this dragon, you know, things like that in ancient time. That was just all what they were discussing here. I didn't see where Jorogan, you know, believed that it exists or it was there. This is even an old video. I don't even know the year Jorgan did this segment. To see the view spewing this, melting down, it is beyond... Uh, in fact, I cannot even doubt because they are fond of that. They are training on social media as a result of this, which to me, it is insane. I have a legal note. <laughs> You want to take this one, Joy, or are you Matt good? Matt no, has long denied all allegations and has not been charged with any crime. That's true. Also, another legal note, Pete Hegseth's lawyer said he paid the woman in 2023 to head off the threat of a baseless lawsuit. Oh. He has denied any wrongdoing. That's interesting. Pay off the, the, the uh, witness. We'll One in five adults regularly get their news from influencers on social media. The number is even higher among younger Americans, with almost 40% under the age of 30 getting their news from those sources. According to the Pew Research Center, the social media site X remains the most widely accessed platform, followed by Instagram and YouTube. I mean, that comes obviously for for political news. And Mike, that's the challenge. You grew up in a newsroom like Gene grew up in a newsroom. I mean, that's a lot of challenge. That's a challenge for a lot of mainstream media sources is do they make themselves relevant again to hear 20 percent of adults who actually get influencers on social media? I don't know. Maybe, how they- maybe somebody who makes baskets and while they're making baskets, they look up and say, vote for candidate X. I don't know how they make themselves. How we make ourselves relevant again, because we can't compete with 20 second snippets on an iPhone, walking up the street, Marcels. getting getting your entire news digest of the day in less than a minute on yeah. your phone as you're walking under the crowd with coffee in one hand and your phone in the other. I don't know how we catch up to that. You see the mainstream media melting down every single day is as a result of this. They have lost the narrative. They used to believe that people depend on them on news. People don't watch these people again. They prefer to get their news on X. I myself, all the videos I create here, I get from X. So these people should just get off the end. Elon Musk bought X and turned it into a, a you know, the, the social media arm of the MAGA movement. Check on X right now. MNBC is training. I have a legal note. <laughs> I do have a legal note. Thank you, Whoopi. Play that sound for me again with what Oprah Winfrey said.
What do you think about all the celebrities with their mass exodus? Over these numbers. Ten million dollars for Beyonce. Oh, is it true that they paid you a million dollars for the endorsement for Kamala? Not true. Not true, okay. Hey. I want you to know what would change after doing this. I'm gonna shake it off. Figure out a way to say thank you. No matter how you disagree with someone politically, you should never pray for this. That guy. You mentioned that guy's name. He's such an absolute, absolute prick. I can't stand him. But anyway. <laughs> Hey there. I'm guessing you're not doing great. Me neither. Let's be honest, it was a terrible night. What will the rest of us be doing on day one? Right now? Well... <laughs> Bishop Vigano, he says that the... A lot of people were confused about why... The sacrifice... But that's okay, because you know what? Listen, 